hello everyone so today I'm going to work on this ammo crate so here as you can see I have 270 bullets in this rifle so if I go here I get the rifle ammo E notification if I press E now the ammo crate vanished and this ammo count became 300 so that's what we are going to work on today ammo crates so we will implement from scratch the ammo box not the model the blueprint and here if I select it we have ammo type and amount so we can change that too and after that how to actually add those collected ammo into the weapon the player has so yeah we will work on those details now today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for your support okay so before getting started with the ammo there is a one small thing i need to fix in my player character so that is uh, i have disabled the AI of the other character so that we can test this easily so here um when we show this happens this uh the where uh, spread of the bullet so it becomes like a single line and also the bullet spread is too much for the player so to fix those two things there are those are very small fixes so here where we inside this get hit target here in this part I have this uh, section where I calculate a random location uh, random offset the, that is added to the target location so here since i am using this same node i think the calculate result of this calculation is cached and used for both x and y so that's why it becomes a horizontal line in time with time so if i just simply duplicate this I think I should be able to avoid that and yeah no, that doesn't happen also I have already set up this variable get character aim deviation multiplier so i i i meant to reduce this value for the player character so we get it using this get aim deviation multiplier interface that value is defined in the als base character the default value is one so for the player character i will reduce it by something like 0.2 so we wouldn't have uh, that large bullet spread for the player which makes it easier for us to target enemies previously it was too hard okay that's something small i wanted to show you and fix before proceeding something that i missed along the way right now let's get back to our main task at hand which is implementing ammo crates first let's create a new folder ammo and new blueprint it's in the type actor pp ammo right and uh, now so this is going to be an ammo crate so first thing i need is uh, some mesh so i have already imported this 
ammo crate model it's a free model I found in free 3d here so yeah this is the ammo crate looks nice good enough for our purpose so let me drag and drop it under default scene road so this is going to be our ammo crate and uh, when let me place this in the world so we should have some way to clearly see this as ammo so for that I am planning to add an icon a floating icon above this ammo crate so for that I have some graphics that I had used previously let me import them under UI assets like this also I have a hammer collecting sound I didn't mean to put it here. Alright. Okay. Now let's add that image. How do we add it? Let's add a billboard. Which type? Material billboard to billboard. Let's try a normal billboard. Use this icon. It's too large. Let's enable this. Wait, let me see how it looks. Oh, I don't see it. Why I don't see it? Oh, it's hidden in game. Okay. Now that's too large. We can make it uh, if I enable this screen size scaled, this uh, the size remains constant after some within some range. So maybe this could be even smaller. That's too large. Point one seems fine. Maybe a bit more smaller. Zero five. very clear so let's add a cube
let's disable conditions for this 0 0.05 disable the snapping and Okay, seems fine. Maybe we should make that over on it. So yeah, actually, I assigned this uh, sprite material. This was there already in the project, and it seems fine. seems to be working fine all right so this is our ammo crate so the next step is how to implement collecting ammo from this crate okay so for that uh, actually we Im have implemented a way to pick up guns using a collider this collider so when this player detector collider this is just a collider so what happens is when player start be overlapping with this part with this collider it check uh, if any character overlap with this collider it check if it is a player and if it is yes if it is a player if it is the player then save this player character into this variable and enable input this for this actor and this part is not relevant relevant for this case because here what happens is check if the player already has a gun from that category if yes we show swap notification otherwise we show pick up notification and when the input is enabled for this object using this just the interact interact input action we initiate swapping or picking up the gun part so let's do the same thing for the ammo crate as well so i can copy this part the player detector if you want if you don't have to copy you can just add the collider like this a box collision that's all Then let's add two events one component begin overlap and one component end overlap. So, when in the begin overlap, we can check if the other actor is player or not using is player interface function we have implemented through this CLM BPI character. If you don't remember, uh, we implemented this some time ago let me show you the implementation here it just returned the value of each player controlled if this is true it is player controlled so Yes, we can show notification. Press E or press E to pick up ammo seems too long. So we can show the ammo type and in within brackets E. Something like that should be better. So how do we show the notification? in 
be bigger this is the way we have shown get player controller get hud and we need to get the input key using this get input and then show tip that's all so let me copy this part we have already worked on these things and i have already shown how did i came up with all of this stuff so i'm not going to re-explain those notes i'm just going to use it let's just show rifle ammo Put a bracket. Then, when we leave the collider, similarly, we have to do this is player check. If yes, we have to hide the notification. Like this and also disable inputs did I enable input no input and also let's promote this to a uh, variable target. Target actor. that's the name I have used here right so this target actor is the actor who is going to interact with this weapon frame error Now let's see. Oh, I'm not getting any notification. Why? Oh, general tool payment is disabled. This should be enabled. Right, rival M E. But even if I press C, e, nothing happens. Just this is the same system. Oh, we can actually have a different color if I use this input tag. Maybe just the input tag color change is enough. No need to have a bracket. Okay, now the notification is complete. Now the next step, step is implementing the pickup. Right, so in the BP gun, we have ammo count, we have this function update ammo count, um, set ammo count. Reload gun. Do we have a function to add additional ammo? It doesn't look like we have a function.
so uh, the class settings and the VPI icon let's add a new function let me check if we have anything written to him. no so let's add a function at m inputs oh should be an integer ammo delta delta means difference so this the reason I use it at delta is so that's the number of ammo that's going to change so if it is positive ammo will be added if it is negative ammo will be reduced <coughs> compile close BPI gun uh, uh, hold on we might need another function also to get the ammo type because we have different guns we have RPGs, machine guns, AKs, crossbows so each different gun should have a different ammo type so uh, let's define another struct which holds the ammo types not a struct and enumeration so like this gun category gun type reticle mod just like that let's add another enumeration ammo type rifle ammo oh shall be put in space Anything or flamethrower? Is that all? The different categories, I think that covers it. Okay, oh, one more thing we can have ammo crates that contain grenades as well. save this and in the BP gun I'll add a variable ammo type let's put it closer to ammo This should be in the type of ammo type by default rifle ammo but I have to change it for the guns that means RPG should have RPG ammo 
ですね。BGM。メシンガン。シューターメシンガンナム。ルシー、アテンクライフルモン、シピファイ。AK、オーソライフルモン、バディポート。M911。ピストルモン。M16 the default one, rifle ammo, flame thrower, shoot flame thrower ammo. We have a block. I should have a block here. Wait. Is there a problem with block? Oh, looks like the mesh is missing. That's fine. Sniper. Shotgun. And this will have rifle right ammo. Revolver is still. I should have a better name like handgun ammo, but right. What is this? For some reason, engine crashed. Let me restart. Right, everything is saved. Okay, so now, uh, in order to implement picking up ammo let me again open can look print and on the VPI gun let's implement a function get ammo type this should return Let's implement it here. Get demo type. Let's return this value. Whatever demo type this gun, this gun have, and then uh, also we implement added a function to add demo. Where is that? Here. Get the dot lemo count. Add. And this we need to clamp it. Min is zero, obviously. And the uh, max is the max ammo count. And then 
set total amount with the result. After that, we can call update amount function. If this weapon is already equipped, this will update the UI details also. Right, now to implement the pickup part, let me again open the VPM box. Here, let's implement interact action. So, when the player collide or overlap with this box, the input actions are enabled for this actor so when we press e this function will be fired so when we interact we should have a valid a valid reference here so let's convert this to a validated kit if validated so here we can call some function that collect ammo but at the moment we don't have such uh, interface event for the player uh, for the character so let's implement one Uh, I don't think we should implement it in the player character. Let's implement it here. Uh -oh. Base character, ALS base character. Sorry, no, ALS animation because here we have these con categories. Oh, first we need to add it to our CLM VPI character here. To give the ammo type and the amount. Ammo type amount. Ammo type should be in the type of ammo type. Amount should be integer. Okay. Right now, let's implement it here in the lesson in mind. to implement it maybe somewhere here near the swap pickup guns let me collapse this because this part will get bigger get the ammo type and we have this
guns. This is a map. From this, we can get values. From the values, we can run a for each loop. Each loop with prey here from the array element we can first we need to check if it is valid if valid we need to check get ammo type Ammo type equal this one. if the ammo types equal, we can collect that demo. this weapon Then we can break this loop. collecting ammo we have to oh now here we should implement collect ammo so we at the moment we don't have ammo type let's promote to variable ammo ammo amount also promote to variable type rifle ammo by default amount for now let me make it 100 and then set life span to 0.5 seconds all right let's see if it works right, let me say wall in case the engine crash nothing happened okay set the target actor yes ah here we should give player control I think that should be the problem input didn't work right it vanished but I didn't have the rifle equipped so 
I'm not sure if I collected the ammo. Let me reduce some ammo first. Okay, 240 total ammo. And it began 300. Alright, so ammo pickup works. Great. Uh, uh, but since I have a rifle I could pick up and it worked without any issue mm. let me make these values public then if I change this to shotgun demo it shouldn't increase it it destroyed but the count didn't change for this it worked okay so yeah that is something we should work on like uh, before open up the pickup ammo notification we should check if we have a weapon from that type otherwise it doesn't make sense to pick up that demo maybe if we have a separate inventory it does but at the moment i don't have such a system so i don't think we should do that but i will address those things and also i will address stuff like randomizing the ammo count and changing this icon based on the ammo type uh, etc in another episode so for now i'm gonna stop it here thanks for watching as always project files will be available here uh, in the patreon page for the download link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon file see you in another episode goodbye